This luxury brand is for someone who exudes quiet confidence and elegance. Stay with me to learn more, amigos. Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, welcome, bienvenidos. I upload content on how to be a savvy shopper when it comes to purchasing luxury and non-luxury items as well as military discounts for those of you that might be eligible. So if this is content that interests you, please consider becoming part of the familia. I mean, guys, I don't even know where to begin. I am just extremely excited for these two brand new handbags that I added into my collection. This video was really only supposed to be me revealing one handbag. Um, but recently I fell in love with another handbag and I actually ended up finding it at a really good deal at an online consignment store I had never heard of that was actually out of Italy. This is definitely another look for less and another Las Tres Best segment of Bueno, Bonito y Barato, which you'll know I love to do here. I'm just excited that I'm actually sharing these handbags with you because we have now entered into Hispanic Heritage Month. The handbags that I am sharing with you today are from Carolina Herrera, who is a Venezuelan fashion designer. If you love Hermes handbags as much as I do, and you love the Hermes Constants, and you love the Hermes Mini Kelly. These two handbags that I am going to reveal to you today rival, I think in my opinion, the Hermes Constance and the Hermes Mini Kelly. They are so much more affordable than the Hermes price tag that comes with owning and being offered those exclusive um, handbags that are considered a quota bag from the Hermes line. The factory that uh, makes these handbags is also a factory where they also produce some other handbags or items from the very elite or luxury brands that we know of like Louis Vuitton and Hermes. There's not as many videos um, on YouTube in regards to this particular um, brand and different styles. The handbag that I purchased from Carolina Herrera comes in this bag. Um, I, none of the bags come in boxes. You actually get this dust bag. And the bag I have to reveal is this lovely CH Insignia handbag in this beautiful mauve pink color which is the color that I had wanted from that um, sample that they actually had in store. And it has gorgeous gunmetal hardware on the top, as well as the beautiful CH here on the front for the closure. Now, this is part of the um, Insignia line. And this was to commemorate um, the 35 year anniversary, I believe, because Carolina Herrera had re um, released like a bracelet with this CH logo for her initials. They released handbags with this CH insignia. And it just so happens that now um, the supermodel, Christy Turlington, she has now become an ambassador. She's now become the face of Carolina Herrera because of the CH, so it goes with her name. Let me come up close so you can see this beautiful handbag. Here you have the closure here, and all you have to do is just lift at the bottom. It's got like a little, um, like a little groove here where you can lift it up from underneath and it comes with this beautiful nice long thin adjustable strap that you can use cross body so it comes with this strap here and here is the inside and what I love what I love is that it's just one big open compartment whereas you know when you have like a Constance 18 you have that divider in the center and I want an open compartment I like an open compartment I don't it drives me nuts when it has that um when it has that middle compartment in the center because I feel like I can fit more room here it just gives me more options so that way I can you know play Tetris and add my things in here this bag actually carries my essentials that I need especially out for the weekend and of course you have the tag on here on the inside the leather on this handbag is what they refer to as baobab leather so it's a very beautiful smooth leather you have very very like a minimal like small grain on it 
and it's just nice and smooth but it just has it's not too delicate is what i loved about it but i'm just infatuated with this beautiful gunmetal hardware on it i think it's gorgeous anytime i get a handbag that has like gunmetal my husband falls in love with it and so it just closes easily in here here's the hardware for the strap which just attaches easily here as you can see and then let me attach the other side and for me being that i am a larger frame what i loved about this is that this handbag has a really good length to it with this particular um strap because it has a very long length and here i actually have it on i actually could still extend it even um longer but i think for me for right now for this length the way i have it at is actually perfect so here you can see where it adjusts and then you have of course the little grommets here in the beautiful gunmetal color but it is absolutely fabulous i had this handbag on the other day when i went into the carolina Herrera boutique here because there was a specific color that i wanted to see and the young lady kept looking at the bag and touching it and just admiring the color and for me this is the perfect color that goes with my wardrobe now let me show you the straps that came with it this actually comes with two straps it comes with a long strap and then another shoulder strap that is a bit of a wider uh, material with the leather so the handbag actually came with this beautiful um like a wine and navy combo strap i guess nylon probably and then you have the beautiful leather accent detail here on the back on this side and then on the front you have the gorgeous gunmetal hardware and it is nice and adjustable and i think because this is an older handbag it has that longer thinner option and then it came with this one because now the newer handbags from what i can tell have much more of a, of a thicker um strap and so as I was trying the handbag on and trying on the length of the, the longer strap, the thinner one, the leather one, as well as this one, she said, we actually have another strap in the back that's actually the same color as the handbag. Do you want me to bring it? And I said, sure. So I actually received this all leather strap a thicker one again with the gun metal she said it happens to she goes we actually have one that matches if you want to take it and i said sure how much is it and she says no 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 we'll throw it in for you she goes go ahead and take it so i got a pilon amigas i got a pilon it's too short for crossbody but it's great for over the shoulder and it just is perfectly perfectly matched with the actual handbag and i'm absolutely in love with this beautiful ch insignia carolina handbag in this gorgeous like dusty mauvey pink with the wonderful gunmetal hardware if you've ever watched the videos from tenor leatherstein he just recently did a video where he actually went to the um, factories there in ubrica spain where they actually make a lot of the handbags for carolina herrera and for um like rv and hermes i will actually um link a video down below where the bbc has actually gone as well and talked about this so um check the description um, box down below and i'll link some of the um, videos or articles that i found about how this factory actually makes a lot of the um, items for these beautiful luxury design houses that we love these handbags from in the boutiques currently this retails for $14.65 for this medium ch insignia bag now in the outlet store i actually paid 905 for this particular handbag so this is the first of the carolina herrera handbags that i added into my collection now let me share the second one with you as i mentioned i went to the carolina herrera boutique because i wanted to actually see a particular color in person if you go online and you check out the website and the styles that they have but as well as the colors the colors are extremely similar to hermes colors and the names are extremely similar as well hermes has released items in the color bougainvillea and so that's been on my wish list for Hermes, but I saw that Carolina Herrera actually had made this past season some handbags in the color Bougainvillea. So I actually went into the boutique here. We were running an errand and I told my husband, let me just stop in because I want to see if they actually carry the color. I wanted to see it in person. So when I walked in, that's when the young lady was just, you know, head over heels in love with my handbag. She actually had a few handbags in the Bougainvillea color, but it just wasn't the style of handbags that I wanted. 
I looked at their other um, insignia handbag styles, which was called a Doma, which is extremely reminiscent to a Kelly. And I saw an extremely small handbag as if it's their own version of a mini Kelly. The thing about Carolina Herrera handbags, it is not one that is going to hold its retail value. So, and it's a shame because these handbags are very well made and handmade and these same luxury factories as these other luxury design houses that we pay thousands and thousands of dollars for. And so I happened to then start to search the name of the handbag when I came across an online consignment store that I had never heard of. And it's called Lampoo. So here's the box. And this came all the way from, I believe, Milan, Italy, sent via DHL. Nicely packaged in here with the uh, receipt and some return instructions. And they packaged it in lovely in here in this nice little bag. Wrapped it nicely. And, oh my God, Amiga, wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. Te digo, amigas, this is truly, truly like an Hermes Mini Kelly dupe for a fraction. Mira nomás. Mira nomás que hermosura de bolsa. Okay. Vuelta, vuelta. Vamos a darle una vuelta, amigas. Una vuelta. Mira nomás. Mira nomás. This lovely handbag is the Carolina Herrera Tiny Doma Insignia Satchel. This is a great alternative for just a fraction of the cost of an Hermes Kelly. This retails for $1,100. And amigos, on the Lampoo consignment store, being the fact that this was brand new with tags, this was listed for, I believe, $510. And then I received like a customer coupon code because it was a first time purchase. And I ended up getting this handbag for like about $490, something like that. So half price of what it would have cost me here at my local boutique. Absolutely wonderfully made and in the exact same style and shape as a mini Kelly, but you don't have the fuss of the sangles and the lock, it just has a nice, easy snap closure. Check that out. And it is a crossbody bag and the strap goes underneath here. Here's the lovely little strap, very nice long crossbody strap that it comes with. And it does not have any interior pockets or exterior pockets. Let me take out the stuffing. The website did not say that this was brand new. So imagine my shock when I receive it and I open it up and I'm already in awe with the color because it's exactly what I wanted. But I then see the tags on the inside that are still attached. So this was not even used. It still had the Carolina Herrera um, tags on the inside and then actually has one more as well. So it came with all of the, it came with the tags intact and I could not believe it. I will do another video, amigos, where I give you more in depth what fits on these because these girls deserve their own show, okay, amigas? Merecen su propio show where they have all the attention and we can do like a what fits in my bag and everything. But just look at this color. So this is what I am assuming is their bougainvillea because this is like what she had in store. And on the Instagram page, I could see that it was released with a really pretty yellow color as well. But this is what I was um, wanting as far as like a pink. I just wanted something happy. I didn't want that dark brown um, suede color handbag, but I just wanted a really fun, happy handbag. And see how on the back, you don't have any type of, you know, pockets or anything like that but it is wonderful. Here you can see the leather strap actually has its own little um, like grommets here. All I'm gonna do is thread it through. Look at that. You have one edge here to hold down the leather and then the other one, once you actually um, push in there you go, goes in easily. This is a hell of a lot easier than my Demelier bag, let me tell you. Look at that. And I will do a mod shot so you can see how this one fits. But it is super cute with a detachable leather strap. You have the leather handle with the detachable strap. 
Here you can see the strap, which is detachable, or you can tuck it inside if you wanted to. You do have an actual suede lining and you have the gold hardware here for the magnetic closure. This is a nice and thin leather strap. So sometimes when you have a wider strap, it just kind of like digs in and it just gets kind of like cumbersome. But this is super cute where you can easily just remove it. It's not one that you can like really like slip on through your wrist, at least for me. It's not because I do have a thicker wrist. And then, of course, I normally wear larger watches. Um, but even on this side, I mean, you easily you could, but it's just it's really more of a handheld carry bag. But it's got pretty much the same dimensions of an Hermes Kelly for a fraction of the price. These insignia bags have been seen on the arms of royalty and celebrities. So I highly recommend that you give them a try because they are just wonderfully made. This one is absolutely beautiful. So beyond happy um, with my very first purchase from Lampu and um, with this beautiful, lovely Hermes Mini Kelly um, alternative, a dupe, definitely a look for less. Amigos, in terms of the high-end luxury that we know and love, there's nothing wrong with loving Hermes and Louis Vuitton and Dior, but these Carolina Herrera bags are superb, in my opinion. The quality is just like that of the other high-end luxury designers that we love, but they are just so much more affordable. If you're looking for quiet luxury, these are definitely it. These are definitely handbags that just exude confidence and sophistication. The wonderful craftsmanship that is done by these ateliers there in Spain, they deserve the recognition as well because these are wonderfully made, wonderfully made. Definitely a look for less with just exceptional quality. So highly recommend that you give Carolina Herrera a shot, give them a chance look into them, research them. You can definitely find them on the resale market in excellent condition. Some of them with tags. I've seen them on the real real or on fashion file. These are wonderfully made and are a really great alternative to your Hermes Mini Kelly and your Hermes Constance. Just for fun, since it is National Hispanic Heritage Month, Americans celebrate from September 15th to October 15th the histories, the cultures, and the contributions of American citizens whose ancestors came from Spain, from Mexico, from the Caribbean, and from Central and South America. So I thought it would be fun to share with you some things that would honor my Latin heritage. The very first thing that I wanted to mention is a wonderful book that I've read many, many years ago, and it's called The Dirty Girls social club don't let the title fool you it's not like all this nastiness it's not it's just a very fun read they call this chica lit um you know as part of like chicana literature but it's also referred to as chica lit the author is alisa valdez rodriguez and it's just a book about these wonderful friends that have the diverse backgrounds but they celebrate and they honor their latin heritage and that's what they have in common and they met back in college and all of them just have different things going on in their lives in the book these friends these amigas they call themselves las buenas sucias ironically 10 years ago i ended up going on a retreat and i met a fabulous group of women and they've become my sisters in christ not only are we latinas but we also have this common love for having christ in our life we were a group of six sisters in christ and so we kind of nicknamed ourselves las buenas sucias after the book because of just um how we were in our personalities and all everything we had in common and of course our latin heritage and unfortunately we just lost one of our sisters um right before my birthday we lost her to cancer but the beauty is we have this sisterhood we have this bond and we are there for one another no matter what and that's how the friends in this book are so it's definitely a great read highly recommend you check it out the next two are movies and if you haven't seen them already i don't know where you have been the first one is Flamin' Hot, and that is directed by Eva Longoria. The Flamin' Hot movie is a true story about a janitor that was working for Frito-Lay, and he was the one who actually invented the Flamin' Hot Cheeto. So it's 
a really fun movie. It's about like our culture. It's just truly a great film of just how he was able to create this product. He knew what our culture wanted. He knew what we liked and there he realized that there was a need for it, a want for it. And it was just those trials that he had to um, endure in order to get this product out there on the market. So it's a really fun movie to watch. Highly recommend it. I'm super excited because my job is actually going to do a spotlight on him, on the adventure of the Flamin' Hot Cheeto. So I'm looking forward to that presentation in the next couple of weeks. The other movie that has been super, super fun, of course, you know, I always um, talk about Santicos here. If you're local, they do Military Mondays for the movie theater. But the one that we saw recently was called Blue Beetle. And it is about darn time that we actually have a Latin superhero. And it's a really fun superhero movie with George Lopez who is one of my absolute favorites. I have followed him since he would do the comedy circuit here when he would come into San Antonio when he would come into Austin and we would travel and go and see him and he is just just wonderful in it but it truly is our culture so highly recommend you check out the Blue Beetle movie as well. Give it some support amigos. And speaking of Eva Longoria being the director for Flame and Hot Cheeto, if you have not catched her show on CNN, that is also another must watch. It's called Eva Longoria Searching for Mexico, where she goes to different regions within Mexico and learning about the food, learning about the culture. And if you need to eat, you need to be eating dinner while you're watching it, or you need to be eating a snack because it's going to make you so hungry because the food looks absolutely delicious. She actually goes to where they're actually making the food or farming it or the tequila. It's a really great show, especially if you love Mexican cuisine and you get to learn about the Mexican origin of these foods that are popular there, but then have then come here into the United States. So again, Eva Longoria, Searching for Mexico, it's on CNN. Please give it a watch as well. And another fun TV show that just blew me away. This one is just takes the cake. <laughs> I absolutely fell in love with this show. I have told everybody I can about it. It is actually on Amazon Prime and it is a series called With Love. And there's two seasons out so far and they're very short seasons. I believe there's only like five episodes for each. And each episode revolves around the different holidays or tradiciones because we have our traditions of Dia de los Muertos, of Christmas of a New Year's you know there's all these wonderful celebrations that we do for these different times of the year and so the shows all of the episodes they all kind of center around the particular different holidays and it's about a brother and a sister that are finding love and the actor that I knew in this particular series was Constance Marie and she also came out on the George Lopez um, comedy series but she was also known as playing the mom of the role of Selena of Jennifer Lopez in the movie Selena so she's the only well known actor that I knew of it the director of this movie she actually directed one day at a time that also came out that was remade with Rita Moreno she comes out on it and she is the crazy tia she is going to make you laugh just all of the characters that come out in this particular um, TV series, they all intertwine. All characters intertwine. It is the most hilarious Latino series ever that I have seen in my life. My husband and I would just crack up laughing, crying laughing because they would just break out into sporadic song and they're just, you know, it was very, they're quick witted. It is exceptionally well written. You don't have to be Hispanic. You don't have to be Latin to watch it. If you want to learn about our traditions, I highly recommend that you check out this series with love. You will not regret watching this series. You can get through it in one day if you just want to binge watch. And I'm super excited. I can't wait for season three, especially since it is National Hispanic Heritage Month. I highly recommend that you check out these wonderfully made TV series, these TV shows and these movies and this wonderfully fun Chica literature book. You will not regret either one of them. They are all a fun watch and a fun read. So highly recommend that you check them out. 
to all our veterans and all our servicemen and women serving and defending our country around the world from my military home to yours. Thank you so much for your service. If you enjoyed today's content, please give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today's video, amigos. Hasta la próxima. Bye-bye.